Oh, how to write, guys. This series just really knows how to bring out the emotion and very strong. Alright, first off, I am really glad they expanded on the backstory for Ko. I really am, man. Because last week, they could have left it off right there and that would have still been very emotional. But it wouldn't have more of an impact if they didn't show the whole story. And they didn't make this backstory the whole episode. That's another thing I like about this. They kept it a good 10 minutes and still had its impact very much, man. Very much. And seeing Cole cry, man, I never thought I was going to see that. I never thought I was going to see that moment of him crying. But we get to see that twice. We get to see it twice. So we see the whole beginning, you know. We see him being there with his mom. He tried keeping it strong. He never really showed any emotion. But deep down when he found out that, her, that his mom actually had lung cancer, you know, he broke down. He went to his house. He broke down. He realized he failed his promise. He kept to his brother saying that, you know, I'm going to take care of her. I'm going to take care of her mom. A lot of people could connect to that moment right there, and it's very, very sad. A lot of people most likely cried in that moment. <laughs> I'm, I wouldn't be surprised. It's okay, guys. I almost did. I'm glad they're showing all this so we could see the perspective that Go sees. He doesn't want anything like that to happen to in his life again. Nobody wants that. He went through it once. Why would he want to go through it again? So we see the understanding why Go is doing all of this. I'm very surprised that this series is actually able to keep a balance between comedy and you know the fields really because the first 10 minutes was fucking it was sad and it was really sad and then the second i guess the second half was pretty fucking funny let's just say futaba got a really huge handful of some some yeah let's just keep it like that <laughs> yeah they were still trying to get code to study ko actually i with them and ends up escaping and then futaba you know grabs somebody's Futaba getting angry, she wants to get close to Ko. She actually goes to his house, but her brother answers, and then that's when he tells his brother, I want to open this door, I want to. Futaba goes on the search for Ko again. Ko is back with his delinquent friends, you know, the ones that he doesn't really consider friends. Futaba finds them, they go on their little walk, <laughs> and then, you know, the typical trip, you know, that's, I guess that's like a finishing move for romances, they always do the trip. They fall on the floor and that's when they start opening up. And Futaba, you know, her, she starts crying again. She starts crying. And she's saying all these things, saying, you know, even though we can't fill in your heart losing one big thing, maybe by gathering all these little tiny good things, you know, a hundred, a thousand, one million, you might feel better. And damn, that, that's good, Futaba. That really is good. And then go, when he starts crying at that age, I'm like, dude, go crying. Still, I can't believe that shit. He cried. That's the last person I would expect to cry, but he cried. So hopefully we get to see more of a caring side to Ko, maybe? Well, he's a, he was always a caring person, but maybe more sentimental. Maybe more a little bit more talkative. We could see him more, you know, have more an affection to, towards the group. Hopefully. I'm really hopeful that would happen. Well, he's obviously changing, but, you know, they actually show it before the season ends. But that's pretty much the episode, man. That's where we left off. We don't really know what else happened. We don't know if Go actually, you know, took the initiative and said, you know what, you're right. Let's do it for you. But we will see. We will see. We will see. And I'm just saying, man, that would have been a perfect time for a kiss. I already thought Go, you know, when he placed his hands behind her neck, behind her head, they were going to kiss. But no, I guess no. He just hugged her. You know, but a beautiful scene. A very, very beautiful, touching, emotional scene. And, you know, I'm just waiting for the fucking kiss. I really am. <laughs> they should at least have a kiss by the end of the season. I'm just saying. A peck on a cheek. A French kiss. A Eskimo kiss. It doesn't matter. Just something. But overall, man, great episode as always. It was good seeing the soft side of Go for once. You know, we always see him, you know, like a rock. He doesn't really show emotion. But finally seeing him break down. It's great seeing that. You know, it shows great character development for his character. Futaba, you know, still same old, same old Futaba, the stalker girl. <laughs> but don't worry, man, she can stalk me anytime she wants. She's a perfect girl for Go. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like the video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe for more anime stuff. As always, guys, I always appreciate it, guys. Bye.